Hello, YouTube. First, let me start by saying I'm very irritated because I just got finished doing this video and the Illuminati just hit my damn computer because my computer all of a sudden just shut down. My whole screen went black. I had to force my darn laptop to shut off. Then all my websites closed out, billboard and everything's closed out. But now that I got that under control, let me start off by saying Beyonce's once again back in the news. Yes, Queen B is making headlines and not in a good way this time. Like, if, if it wasn't enough that people was critiquing the Super Bowl, he, Donald Trump tried to come for her, people getting agitated about the mysterious album release, now Billboard is trying to call her out for copying. Yeah, you heard right, Billboard. Not uh, Trinity Trent TV, not Juicy.com, not the National Enquirer. Okay, see, this is the shit I'm talking about. Now, mysterious voices are peering up on my computer. If this ain't Illuminati, I don't know what is. Illuminati, let me tell you this. I'm trying to give a darn a defense to Beyonce. Can you calm y'all asses down? Anyways, not that Beyonce is part of the Illuminati anyway. I'm not hyping up that rumor. But anyways, like I was saying, Beyonce. Billboard somehow. I don't know what I don't know what Beyonce did to pee them off or whatever, but they got a whole article on their website which will be in the description box. They are putting pictures and videos of nearly everything she did that is most iconic side by side starting out with her um latest 2013 performance they comparing the dress from the Va 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 Voom, Nicki Minaj and some other chick she will be in the description box I don't have time to name everybody Carolee is her name they is comparing single ladies to Single face. I hope that's span. I hope that's French and not Spanish because I don't know how to speak Spanish. Um, they comparing Deja Vu to Josephine Baker, even though Beyonce's gave credit numerous times to Josephine Baker. Josephine is her idol. Uh, they also reference to Rich Man Frog Sing, Bob Frost Sweet Charity. They comparing Get My Body to. Bob Frost, Rich Man's Frog, Sweet Charity. They comparing damn Countdown to Audrey Hepburn's Funny Face. Peggy Muffet's late 50s, 60s fashion. She also sold samples, Boys to Men, Countdown from Song. Uh oh. Oh, uh -huh. It'll be in the description box. Make a long story short. Beyonce, um, just, number one, my thing is, what is stealing? What is the definition of flat out stealing? Because from what I've seen in these videos, Beyonce done took little pieces, but it's not enough to classify as stealing. Number one, it's not a damn copyright on damn music. The only exception is if somebody does the exact same thing all the way through without giving credit. From what I've seen of all these, Beyonce, like usual, she has, she has gotten, um, she's taken snippets and took it to a whole new level. Number one, I think it helps these artists anyway because nobody wouldn't be trying to go to damn Mexico Italy damn France trying to put up all these artists trying to translate what the hell they saying if it wasn't for Beyonce because number one Beyonce is making these other artists relevant if it wasn't for damn Beyonce hardly nobody would know these damn people like who the world knows who a darn Bobby France is and of course I know some of the French people because I I study French but a normal person in the United States, they wouldn't take time to notice that Billboard 
The Billboard performance was inspired by Tofu Tofu. As far as our one plus one inspiration, Le Affair. Now that was a poor matchup because Beyonce's video, I think, is totally different than this Le Affair. I mean, you can look at both of the videos and tell they are similar, but the woman is pouring water out of a glass, and Beyonce was standing in front of a waterfall. I mean, Beyonce had all these darn rainbow colors. This woman had green lights. Like, come on now. This is just a cheap excuse to try to slash Beyonce. I don't know what she's done to pee y'all off Billboard, but this is just a cheap excuse to slash Beyonce. Number one is not stealing if none of the artists haven't filed a complaint. Y'all are quick to say, Beyonce stole this, Beyonce stole this, Beyonce stole this. Yet I ain't heard none of these damn artists come out and say it they damn selves. Beyonce gave fair credit. At the end of the day, it's helping these artists out because they get notarized. Nobody don't know nothing about Dion Warwick and stuff like that and Etta James until Beyonce brought it to their attention. So at the end of the day, it is a mutual um it is a mutual benefit. She's not she's not doing the routines all the way out. You can go to the darn y'all can go to the link y'all sells and see it. She is not taking everything barbatim. Furthermore, I also want to state that Furthermore, I want to state. Okay, I want to wrap this up because with my computer acting all kinds of crazy and stuff, and some of y'all viewers got short attention spans, I don't want to run this video up to 10 minutes. Um, I just want to state, why is Beyonce's been singled out? I mean, you got Chris Brown that does Michael Jackson's moves, Barbatum, who Michael Jackson got his moves from somebody else. Uh, Lady Gaga, her moves are heavenly inspired by Madonna. Um, and plenty of other artists do the same thing. Yet, it's always when y'all always want to come out with Beyonce. Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. Nobody is going to take her off. You can keep on posting these damn blogs all you want to. Yeah, it's not going to knock the queen off. Like I said, Ain't no, uh, y'all keep these blogs keep posting Beyonce still this Beyonce still that yeah ain't none of the artists came out and sued Beyonce because she has not done the same thing Barbados she has she has took a little bit and spent it around to her own new level it's nothing different than Michael Jackson at t nothing different than Michael Jackson so I don't know what is all the I guess I sense people think Beyonce is part of the Illuminati. They just try to find some sort of bullshit that I always try to knock off. She just can't be a damn successful woman in business. I mean, it's a shame that you praise Rihanna and you try to slash this humble woman named Beyonce. That is a shaking my head moment. So that is it, y'all. It'll probably be a part two to this. If y'all have any questions, comments, tips, suggestions, leave it in the comments box. Like the video if you want to. Share it. And I'll see y'all soon with more videos.